Hey everybody and welcome to Cold Turkey. I'm Polly T. And tonight, Dubliner Colin Farrell breaks down about the homelessness crisis and opens up about a tragic year on American TV. In an interview on the US show Jimmy Kimmel Live, the Dubliner told how it felt like Armageddon as the borders began to close and countries went into lockdown. The Hollywood star Colin Farrell opened up about the tragic year as he broke down on a TV show over the homelessness crisis. In the interview on the US show Jimmy Kimmel Live, the Dubliner told how it felt like Armageddon as the borders began to close and countries went into lockdown. But as he spoke about social unrest, the movie actor became tearful as he talked about how tough he found seeing homeless people along the streets of Los Angeles. Discussing life during lockdown, the 45-year-old told fill-in host Wanda Sykes, the borders started to be closed and I got the third last plane out of London back here to America. It was Armageddon. It was very strange. Me and my boy, we locked down. It was insane. What a year it's been for everyone in so many ways. It's been a tragic and different difficult year of social unrest and ugliness that we have seen. And you know the homelessness here is pretty tough to, to see. I'm tearing up about it. It's pretty tough to see. I don't get it. I'm doing anything. Am I doing anything about it right now? No, but I'd like to do something about it. I don't understand how so many people can be on the street. I say that knowing how fortunate I am, I live in a nice house, I have a very safe existence. Sykes also asked the Batman star if he was going home to Ireland soon. The father of two perked up and said, yeah, I miss it, I'm going back soon. It isn't the first time Farrell put a focus on the issue. He works with an organization called the Homeless World Cup Foundation and he's been known to lend a helping hands to people affected in the past. In 2016, the actor spoke out about the crisis in Ireland during the takeover of Apollo House uh, to the house rough sleepers in to house rough sleepers in Dublin. He said at the time, what is a refugee? It is somebody who has to move from place to place without a home to try and find some sense of existence and some sense of peace. This is what the homeless community in our country is and they're basically refugees in their own land. Farrell, who's a recovered drug user, also spoke about the added hardship of addiction that affects many of those who live on the streets. He said, I wasn't lying on a street corner at eight degrees at two o'clock in the morning, sticking a needle between my toes. I wasn't at that level of hardship. We're talking about a lot of hardship and I'm not saying all homeless people are drug addicts, but there's a lot of that. And of course, because it's an escape. But there go I, for the grace of God. Farrell, who's a patron of the Irish Homeless Street Leagues, said politicians need to step up to the plate. He added, our care is demonstrated with all the meetings and all the rallies. The population of our country is aghast at what's going on. The most important thing is the aftercare program. And that's what we're trying to get some funds raised for, to help these men and women who have fallen on very, very hard times that inflict certain amount of inhumanity on them. And man, I have to totally agree with uh, Colin Farrell and it's really good to see that an Irish actor of his, uh, of his stature, you know, is uh, bringing this issue up, even on American TV. Now, he's talking about Skid Row in L.A. I was over in L.A. Uh, myself a couple of years ago and I was down in Skid Row and <clears throat> I walked among the homes down there speaking to them. Uh, I sat in their tents with them for a little while, talking to them about life over there on the streets. And uh, I know exactly what Colin's talking about because the contrast is great over there. You have LA, all these wonderful big buildings, and then you have this terrible homeless situation right in the shadow of these great big buildings in downtown Los Angeles. So what a great contrast between uh, the have and the have-nots, the advantaged and the disadvantaged. Big shout out to Colin Farrell for shedding the light on this, but this should be only the beginning. We should be bloody outraged at what's going on over here. And everything that you've seen over there, Colin, you can take it from me, it's happening over here. I'll buy it on a smaller scale, but it's getting bigger and bigger. Thanks to the folks at the Liberty Super Run and to all the people that go out and spend their time voluntarily to give back and to help the most vulnerable in our society to be homeless in these times and to have an addiction problem on top of that 
puts a person in a very, very fast downward spiral of uh, hopelessness. It's our duty as human beings and as citizens, and those of us who have a roof on our head and food in our stomach, and some little means to do whatever we can to help those that are really vulnerable and disadvantaged in, in our society today. So nice one, Colin, and hopefully more celebrities will jump on the bandwagon here and uh, make their voices be heard. Those that have a voice, use it. And uh, let it be heard for, let it, shout out about the homeless situation over here in Ireland. Let's clean up our own doorstep first and uh, let's tidy it up our own garden. Let's tend to our own garden, as Voltaire says. Let's tend to our own garden. Let's tidy up. Let's clean up our own backyard. Let's do something here while we have the ability. We were able to lock this country down for a full year and a half and keep it going financially. Surely, we now that we're opening back up again, we can take on this homeless issue. That's a very small percentage of people, but growing steadily because of the bad housing policies made here in this country. And this government needs to be held to account, especially like Leo Varadkar and uh, all those who have played a part in government here in the last 10 years when this crisis was already, uh, was already a big, big issue and promised to get uh, the priority of the government. Nothing has happened since, nothing of concrete. I see these volunteer groups, as I mentioned, the Liberty Soup Run, having to rely on donations from working class people to keep going to feed the very vulnerable in our uh, streets today. This should be the job <coughs> of a democratic government. This should be the, this is in our constitution to give these rights. Everybody has the right to food and shelter. And uh, we're, not, we're not doing our bit. And you in the government, you're not doing your bit. And uh, when celebrities now have to come and start talking in other countries about the homeless situation that they're seeing around, man, this homeless situation is really bad here too. And we should be progressive and we should be ahead of it. We shouldn't be waiting for a European directive telling us what to do. We should jump on it ourselves as Irish people who are very giving and very kind people by nature. We should jump on this and get this sorted. It's not rocket science. We just need roofs and beds for people. And that's as a start. This is Paul Tracy. This is Cold Turkey. Stay blessed. <laughs>